My talk is entitled Diaspora Externalities, A View from the South. Economists define externalities as things or phenomena that affect the well-being, the welfare of people, not through the market, but through uh, broader, uh, broader schemes, broader mechanisms. An externality, for example, if you smoke uh, and this is damaging the welfare of someone else, this is an externality, a negative one. Or if that person likes the smell of your smoke, then that's a positive externality. So why diasporas are an externality? Because people moved abroad for their own good, for the good of their uh, loved ones, but not for the good or bad of their country. And yet, these diasporas affect the home countries of migrants, the mostly developing countries, through many different uh, ways. I am presenting uh, a natural experiment on trade and migration using refugees that came from Vietnam to the US. At the time there was no trade because it was after the Vietnam War and there was an embargo on trade. These refugees have been deployed in different US states independently of future trade potential with Vietnam. Then 20 years later, the embargo was lifted and the states that happened to receive more Vietnamese refugees in the 70s, in the second half of the 70s, happened to trade significantly more with Vietnam once the embargo was lifted. So the key takeaway is that diaspora matters and can be tremendously useful for the integration of the home countries in the, in the international economy. But I think the new thing is put, to be able to put numbers to, to say this is now evidence-based. When you have 10% more migrants, then that should increase your trade by about your exports by about 1%. Hopefully, uh, this evidence will contribute to, to make policy making uh, more uh, rational and based and not just on opinions, but also uh, on facts uh, which are quantified.